Welcome back to another edition of the High School Football Forecast. Week number 10, the final week of the regular season here on the Acadiana Post Game Show. I'm your host, Greg Larnard. All right, let's take a look at our play of the week from week number nine. And I'm gonna give it to a little bit, it's gonna be a little bit of a ceremonial choice. This isn't a guy who put up big stats, who hadn't had a monster game. In fact, he's never really scored a, he's never even scored a touchdown in his high school football career. And it has to go to Turling's running back, senior running back, Jackson Duga, who rushed for his first rushing touchdown, rushed for his first ever touchdown last week. Homecoming, senior night, the whole thing in front of a packed house at Turlings. It was a great moment. They got the win 38-8 over Northside, and it was a game that Turlings desperately needed. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but I wanted to give Jackson Duga the credit that he deserved because that's a cool moment when you can score your first rushing touchdown and your first ever high school football touchdown in a game. All right, let's take a look at what we got coming up on the slate of the games in week number 10. We've got a ton of good matchups, and it starts with Eunice versus Iota. Eunice, eight and one. 5-1 in the district. Iota on the other side, 9-0, perfect 6-0 in district. There is a ton on the line with this game in district 5-3-A. It's basically for the championship, whoever wins this game wins district 5-3-A and a top seed in the 3-A playoffs, even more crucial. Iota, they're perfect on the season and they put, they're putting that perfect, that perfect record on the line in this game. Their offense has been spectacular. 37 points per game and the defense even more stellar. Just 10 points per game they're allowing this entire season. And for Eunice, look for Paul Trosclair's squad to play hard, run the football well, and play hard-nosed defense. That's what they do. Offensively, they're averaging 37 points per game, so they can put it in the end zone. And defensively, not quite as good as Iota, but just 16 points per game. Iota won this matchup in 2017, 34-27. I'm expecting this to be a great game on Friday night. All right, let's take a look at our second game of the week. And it happens to come in the form of Brobridge versus St. Martinville. Another great matchup. Brobridge, 7-2 on the year. Therefore, 4-0 in the district. Perfect. On the other side, talk about perfection. St. Martinville having a very strong season. 9-0, 4-0 in the district as well. The two top teams in District 5 4A. This is for all the marbles. The championship on the line in District 5 4A. Whoever wins this game goes on to win the district. And for Brobridge, they really haven't played a complete game this entire season. They'll be looking to do that on the biggest stage in the biggest game of their season. St. Martinville won this game last year 23 13. So this one again should be a great one for a chance to win the district. And finally, our last game of the week. Turlings at Karen Crow. You can hear this one on KPL 96.5, KPL 96.5.com, and the KPL 96.5 news app. Turlings 4 and 5 on the year, 2 and 2 in the district. Karen Crow 4 and 5 as well. They're 3 and 1 in the district. This is a huge district game that could determine the playoff seeding for these two teams. For Turlings, they got right last weekend against Northside, coming up with a big victory, 38 to eight. That's what they've been looking for, just a lopsided victory to feel good about themselves, and they did. They'll feel good about themselves going into this Karen Crow game. Karen Crow on the other side, they don't feel great about themselves after getting smashed by STM last weekend. And so this, this game is gonna be a, a smash mouth kind of football game. Both teams very good. They play hard-nosed defense. They can run the football effectively and look out for quarterback Austin Bro on the Karen Crow side. I'm real excited to see what this matchup kind of brings out of both of these teams in the final game of the year before we get into the playoffs. That's gonna do it here on another edition of the High School Football Forecast Week 10. It's coming to an end here in the regular season, but don't, don't worry, we'll be back for the, the playoffs here on the Acadiana Post Game Show. I'm your host, Greg Larner.